What is going on everyone, Bitter Hyena here. It is Friday, which means today we are putting the Japanese and English Glaceon VMAX promo boxes up against each other to see who comes out on top. Now, a little spoiler alert, we've already done the Leafeon boxes. If you haven't seen them, I will try my best to remember to put an iCard up here. If not, it's on the channel somewhere. Sorry. But just like normal, the Japanese box in just presentation and everything else, in my opinion, just my opinion, it looks better. It's just put together better. Yeah, don't get me wrong. The English one is cool, but I like the compact size of the Japanese one. But we are going to see which one does have better pulls today. So let's go ahead and see which one will win this time around. Now, if you're still here and you didn't click the little I card or go search for the video for the Leafeon box, in that video, the English box, we got no pulls whatsoever except for one gold card in the final pack, which I love the gold cards. So that was a big win. The Japanese pack did have better pulls. I think we got two hollows and then we got two V cards. So pretty good ratio there out of eight packs. So once again, just like the first one, we will open up the English box here first, kind of put the Japanese one off to the side. And let's see. Now, both of these, there isn't too much difference. Uh, I guess we'll go over that a little bit first. Not too much difference in these boxes here. You, each box has one of the little V-Star coins here. The Japanese one is better in my opinion. It's shiny, it's a little bit different kind of, it's put together a little bit differently. But other than that, uh, the only other difference is the giant jumbo card here. You do get five packs in here, you get eight packs in the Japanese one, which Japanese card packs have eight or five cards anyways. So it evens out a little bit. But other than that, yeah, not too much of a difference. So let's, man, go ahead and crack this open. Now the English Glaciana V-Star box I got here that I cannot get open for the life of me. That is some strong ass glue, good Lord. Wow. This one here I picked up from my buddy James over at Awesome Games TCG. I get most of my English product, if not all of my English product from him now. I will leave a link in the description below to his website. Go check him out. Good prices, good shipping, good, just good everything. I 100% recommend his website over anything else for English product. Now the Japanese one I got from Cardboard Collectible. I've gotten them stuff from them tons of times before same thing great prices great shipping so if you'd like to get you some boxes of the Japanese set here I will leave a link in the description below to their website go check them out now let's get into this we have got our two promos here if I can get it out that one's set up a little bit different that plastic is cut very badly there's no way to like pull it out all right so we've got the Glaceon V-Star, very cool. Once again, these V-Star cards look amazing. If you have not gotten yourself a V-Star card yet, you're in for a treat. Way better than the V-Maxes in my opinion. Awesome looking card. Love Glaceon, very cool. And I am just realizing I have got quite a bit of Evolution stuff coming down the line here. We've got these two boxes. I managed to get uh, one of the other premium collection boxes, the Vaporeon one and the Jolteon one. Oh, tons of EV stuff. But there we go. There's the Glaceon V. We've got our little V star marker here. You know, for the people that play. I don't play, so it's just going to go in a little metal tin or tub somewhere. But there we go. Very cool that they include one of those in one of these boxes here. We've got our Jumbo Glaceon V star very cool love these jumbo cards these new ones are awesome the textured ones man they are spoiling us with these i absolutely love the textured jumbo cards all right now our packs we have got chilling rain evolving skies uh two fusion strikes and another evolving skies here now i just realized in the last video i did not give away the leafeon code card for the box so if you would like these codes I'm not gonna give them away in the video we're gonna do a little giveaway 
leave a comment below down in the description or down in the comment section. I don't know why I said description. Tell me your favorite card or the card that you're hoping you can pull from Brilliant Stars. And then here in a couple days, uh, I don't know, I'll put it down in the description below once I've done the video and figured everything out. I will go ahead and pick a winner and then you can either message me on Twitter or Instagram and I will send the codes to you. There you go. Get you some codes. So I got to put these in a safe spot. I'm not going to lose them. All right. Now, let's get to our packs here. We will save Evolving Skies for last because that was the uh, pack that gave us our gold card. Put these up there. All right. Here we go. Chilling Rain. Let's see what we get. Uh, fingers crossed. We can get something good here. There is your code for that one. One, two, and three. Energy off. All right. Let's see what we've got here. Starting off, we've got a Ladian. I have to move this up a bit. Set the cards down. Welcoming Lantern. Glad I know that one now. we got a Kalara. A Cub Fu. We've got a Blitzel. A Quillfish. We have got Galarian. A Slowpoke. A Little Weedle. We've got a Reverse. Single Strike Urshifu there. And on the end, Non Hollow Dug Trio. Alright. Now, Fusion Strike. Let's go. Let's get that Gengar. Come on. I want this Gengar card is so bad. We've had some pretty good luck with Fusion Strikes. I have gotten quite a few good pulls. First pack, I got that Mew V Altar Art. So, let's get some of that luck coming again. We've got Galarian Dark Manitan. A Sligu. We've got Clawitzer. Been a while since I've seen you, bud. A Siglyph. We have got Toxel. A Totodile. We've got Baneri. A Tynamo, the Yukimori card. I like that one. We've got a reverse, what is this? Fusion Strike Energy there. And on the end, a Hollow Toxtricity. There we go. Finally getting a Hollow out of the English set. It's been a bit. None whatsoever in the first box. Kind of weird. But, all right. Let's see here. Can't complain though. That gold, gold card was amazing. All right. There is your code for that one. Tried to cover up the QR code, but that didn't work. Three, energy, water energy. All right, let's see what we got here. Last fusion strike before we move on to evolving skies. We got Dunsparce, a Dancer. We have got a Krogunk, a little Pain Seer. We got the Aracuda, a Gumi. We have got Snubble and a reverse uh, Qfant. Yeah, and on the end, we've got non hollow Absol. All right, so about the same as the first box so far. Two packs left, Evolving Skies. What can you give us here? Let's see. All right, can we get an Evolution? I am so tired of not pulling these Evolutions. I've opened up quite a bit of Evolving Skies, and I don't think I've pulled any. I bought one here recently from James as well. I'll do a little video or short something about that. You'll see some pictures of it. All right, we've got Time Pole, a Lit Leo. We've got the little Eevee with Rayquaza, a Cutie Fly. We've got a Reverse Palpitoad, and on the end, a Gorgeist. All right, final pack of Evolving Skies. Can we actually end with something than just a hollow from this box? Let's see. All right. There is your code for that. One, two, and three. Energy off again. All right. Let's see what we got here. Single strike scroll of the Fang Dragon. Such a long freaking name. We got Floet, a, a Bulldor. We have got C Dot, a Slack Off. We got the Flibebe, a Carnival. We got the little Dwebble. I like Dwebble for some reason. Cute little Pokemon. We've got a Reverse Gigalith, which is a Reverse Rare. And finally, on the end, we've got uh, a non hollow Altaria. So, normal English collection box luck there. Nothing too crazy. Did get a hollow, though. So, for the Japanese box, we just got to get something better than a hollow. All right. Now, ooh, carefully. Now, stay tuned for Monday's video. Um, I somehow 
got lucky enough to get my hands on some pre-release kits for Brilliant Star. Couldn't think of the name there for a second. Uh, but I got a new local card shop about 15 minutes away from me. I was able to pre-order two boxes plus I get three extra packs with each box as well. So we were going to have quite a little bit uh, of packs to open for Brilliant Star. I'm excited for it. Hopefully we can get some of these new character rare, uh, character secret rare card from VMAX Climax. All right, but there we go. There is the V-Star marker for the Japanese one. We'll compare them again for those of you who didn't listen and go watch the first video. There we go. The English one is like a standard gold color, but the Japanese one is like a gold metallic finish. Very cool. This one's a little bit clear. This one's just solid white. But yeah, there we go. I like the Japanese one a little bit better. Get our eight packs out here. There we go. And carefully take our promos, throw the plastic off to the side. Once again, start off with the Glaceon at VMAX. Maybe. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful card. That is awesome. I like it. Japanese just, it hits different, man. I'm telling you, if you've not opened Japanese product, you're missing out. There we go. Awesome card. And then, of course, we have got the Glaceon V there. Very cool. Not much different than the English one. And since I did it in the uh, Leafeon box, we'll go ahead and do it in the... Uh, Glaceon box as well. Quick little comparison for each of the English and Japanese V-Star cards. There we go. Kind of see the difference in the texturing. Both awesome cards though. I love the new silver border. It looks great. Alright. Now, you know, Japanese pack, Japanese scissors. Let's get into these and see if we can manage to get something good. I'm still missing the Arceus, Arceus V-Star card, so that would be nice to pull, along with pretty much anything else. All right, first pack. We have got a Luxray, cool artwork. I don't remember that one. We got Grimer, a Chimchar, and we have got a Corefish, and starting off with a Hollow Moltres, not bad whatsoever. There we go. Already beating, well, already tied with the English box. All right, pack number two. Like I said, we have eight packs here, so eight chances to pull something compared to the five from the English one. We've got a Sneasel, uh, a Sock. We got, uh, what is it, Crawdont, and another Hollow. We got uh, Infernape. Yeah, that is a nice card. I like that one. There we go. Japanese box already wins. There we go. Movie's off a bit. All right. Moving on, third pack of Starbirth. What can we get here? Let's see. Fingers crossed we get a V-Star. That would be so nice. All right, so we've got Clefable, um, a Executor, yeah. we got a Chimeco. I'm having such a problem today. Weasel and a Breloom. Okay, okay, pack four, halfway done now. Not too bad, not too bad so far out of four packs. We have got uh, Mothum, which I just caught last night, I believe, in Pokemon Legends. I finally got another uh, Shiny. It was a Dust Tox, so now I have gotten two full odds Shinies. Both of them bugs. Something, <laughs> something other than a bug, man. All right, we got some ruins, a Starly, we have got a Dusclops, a Shinx, and another Hollow. We got a Garchomp. Now, I don't think we pulled this one out of the booster boxes, but when this comes in English, this already has an errata to it. There is a misprint on one of its attacks. So, yeah. If you're going to play Garchomp, just know it doesn't say what it actually does. All righty, three packs left here. Still, three three chances to pull something. Let's move. I love pulling secret rares from boxes like this. Let's see. It could happen. It could happen. We got Farfetch'd. Awesome Magmar artwork. And a Weavile. 
Yes, Weavile. Like I said in the last video, Weavile and Mawile, I get their names mixed up here so much lately. Alrighty, we have got, I think his name's Kindler, something like that. We got a Grottle, I think, cast form. We've got a Dust Skull and a V. We got Haunch Crow, not bad. There we go. First time, well, first double, I should say, of you. Haunch Crow V. We've got one final pack left. Let's see what we can end this Japanese box with. Fingers crossed, it's something. Something, something. Here we go. Final pack. We've got Star Raptor starting off, a Luxio. We've got a Piplup, a Sigilyph there. And finally, on the end, we've got another Hollow. We got Torterra. We loaded up on the Hollows from this box, man. Three total. Nice. No, no, four total. Oops. Yeah. All right. So, once again, actually, no, this time around, English box wins. I'm, I'm an idiot. Take two. All right, guys. This time around, Japanese box wins for the pulls. I man, one one hollow from the English box. That sucks, but that's what happens when you get collection boxes. Blah blah blah. English box or Japanese box a little bit better. We have got four hollows and a V of Haunch Crow. So. Not the best V you can get, but it's still a V, and I'll take it. Not too bad whatsoever. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you'd like to pick yourself up some English Pokemon cards, go ahead, click the link below to James's website, go check him out. 100% recommend him. Very, very good prices on cards, and that is exactly what you need right now while this whole big Pokemon boom has been going on for a while now. Just stick with him, trust me. You won't be disappointed. Now, if you'd like to get yourself on some Japanese product, go on and click the link in the description below to Cardboard Collectibles website. Just like James's website, very good prices on Japanese sets. I've always had just a great time ordering from them. You will not be disappointed with them at all either. But alrighty guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe and check out another video while you're at it. Don't forget to hit the little bell button, get notifications of more videos go up. Like I said, stay tuned to the channel for Monday because we will be opening up some s brilliant star. I almost said star bird. Brilliant star. That's the English set. Also, yes, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below telling me what your card favorite card from your favorite card from Brilliant Star or the card that you want to pull the most from Brilliant Star. And then here in a couple days, I will pick a winner and you can message me on Twitter and Instagram and I'll send you the code. So yeah enjoy but as always guys thank you so much for the 11th support it is greatly appreciated and i will talk to you all later see ya